So guys, here's my first impressions on the new latest Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the latest Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. You guys already know this video is going to be late because it is I, Iman. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the family. So today for you guys, we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S. No, S. I mean the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. That is just a, it's a good name, but it's just, you just get very, I get very muddied up with the flip and the, and the fold because that's the only word that changes in the whole duration of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold or Flip 3. Anyway, <clears throat> my first reactions on this two devices, obviously Samsung did their um, Galaxy Unpacked, like we all know where they obviously um, show us a new product and you know, just give us a little inside of what's going to be coming out in the few in the, in a couple of weeks or even in a few months or whenever they can actually bring the device out for us to be able to purchase. But yeah, um, haven't really looked into too much on these two particular devices because I want them to kind of wow me and kind of um, impress me because obviously we all know when the Samsung Galaxy Fold and um, the first ever Samsung Galaxy Fold came out it was an absolute it was just an experiment an experiment device that Samsung charged us over a grand just to be able to have it and then the second generation came out which was the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 and that that was all right that started to pick up a little bit from obviously from the prototype that it did with the Samsung Galaxy um, Z Fold the first generation and yeah this year they brought out the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and I have very high expectations from Samsung with the Z um, with the Z Flip with the Z Fold 3. But yeah, um, now this Z Flip 3. Obviously, we had the first generation. We never got a second generation, but obviously, Samsung has skipped the second generation and want to do the third generation. So I don't know what they're thinking. But yeah, anyway, the car, the first generation of the Z Flip 3, the Z Flip. It was okay, it was it was alright, the design was good, it was well thought about and yeah, the, the whole concept of the phone, it fold, I mean it flipping and unflipping and it was all good but there was a little bit of issues like the like same issue you'd find on the on the on the flip series as well, which I do believe might be a um, might be a might be the case and situation for this year's um, um, flip and fold um, series from, from Samsung. Is the when you when you obviously open up the device, the crease in the middle because of the screen, the the type of screen they're using to actually the the designing to actually you know to be able to take the flex and the fold that obviously you're gonna be doing throughout the duration of your of your ownership on these devices. And yeah, I'm expecting them to kind of improve the design and the technology so you don't see that crease as much as you do on previous generations. That's what I'm really really looking forward to but yeah I've, I haven't actually seen these devices like I said to you guys I wanted to surprise me and wow me I mean I've seen pictures online and you know well obviously when I'm scroll because I'm a tech youtuber I have a lot of tech information that hits my phone up every single day so obviously the Samsung um, devices new devices are gonna be on there as well and whenever I see it I just quickly just <laughs> flip through so I don't get myself caught up into reading more information and looking at more videos or even pictures of the device because I wanted to surprise me, I want us to bring it here, unbox it and you know experience it together me and you guys on the channel but yeah not really read too much on the devices as of yet but when I get it then I will because like I said I wanted to surprise me and wow me but yeah um, I'm looking forward to it very very looking forward to it because obviously something that has has had time on their hands to be able to develop they've been able to 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 upgrade they'll be able to build the technology on these devices to be even better and yeah i'm, I'm just looking forward to it to be honest with you because obviously this the last series of these phones have not really been the best but hopefully samsung actually pulls it out the bag and you know does something for us and you know make us you know fall in love with these new devices and this new chapter of tech 
of technology that they're trying to bring to us because obviously as you guys know um, technology, technology is pretty moving rapidly at this time I mean think about it last like a few years ago that the, the technology was good but throughout the years it's just speeding up everyone is bringing out their own their own piece of the cake everyone's designing technology everyone's designing their own phones you know bringing it out selling it and some of these phones these low budget phones from other companies that we've never even heard of they're actually starting to beat Samsung and beat iPhones and Huawei like take for example Huawei they were so small I had an app Huawei when I was back in the days like couple couple like, like years ago I had a Huawei phone and they weren't big at the time but now 2021 even from 20, 2018 they were they started to pick up and now 2021 they're like up there they're like almost smashing Samsung and it's like whoa like yeah it's, it's, Technology is just moving so so rapidly and so fast. It's just absolutely incredible and amazing. It's it's like so much technology out there that I, I can't even. Be, I'm not even able to cover all of them in a, in a video, which is just absolutely insane. But obviously, you got people like on Box Therapy and you know Mark um, Marcus Brownlee and all, all the shout out to all the tech YouTubers out there. You know, just bringing out bringing up all these tech videos and you know keeping keeping us all informed and you know for us to know actually what's going on in the in the tech world which is just absolutely awesome shout out to all of them but yeah the samsung galaxy z fold 3 and the samsung galaxy z fold i mean z flip 3 i'm very very i'm very very excited i, I literally cannot wait at all but yeah i think that's it um i wouldn't really call this like a first impressions i'll i'll kind of call it like a my, like a, like my thoughts on the new devices that Samsung has actually brought out for this year. I mean, phone, smartphone wise. But yeah, they did bring out a few watches as well. They brought their new series. Um, um, uh, what do you call? What they call it? Like their their watches. They brought new series out um, for them. So looking forward to them as well and testing that out and see how we, how 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 I mean how how it works and how. It, it's better than obviously the other series that they brought out before but yeah that's gonna be all fun and yeah I, I can't I, I can't wait I've been waiting a long time for Samsung to bring something out and yeah it's been quite it's been a year now they haven't brought anything out and yeah hopefully they come back with a bang and yeah hopefully they um, they impress me because I'm a I'm a big I'm the biggest Samsung guy you would ever ever find I have a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra been using it for since it came out and it's just an absolutely incredible device and yeah I had the S20 Ultra as well literally I've always I've owned a Samsung device since from the Samsung Galaxy S3 all the way all the way up to the S21 Ultra so yeah I'm a very big fan of, um, of Samsung and even my TV downstairs it's not Samsung but I mean Samsung and LG they're battling it out and unfortunately LG is comes out on top when it comes to TV and you know the 4k and all that like OLED QLED all that stuff LG really really does 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 hit the right button in my heart so yeah anyway if 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 Samsung was brilliant and your QLED technology was absolutely phenomenal I'll have a I'll have a, a Samsung TV downstairs mate because <laughs> that's how much I love Samsung even my setup behind me and my big monitor the 49 inch is from Samsung as well um, it's 1080p but um, I want to you know get the 2k monitor the, the more curved one which is pretty damn cool and yeah my monitor up top is from um, where's it from? BenQ only because it's a color grading monitor and obviously I do color grading in my videos and stuff like that so I need a monitor that is up for the job but yeah I have so many things as LG is, is it's, it's awesome. Even my fridge downstairs is LG. I mean, it's Samsung. <laughs> my fridge downstairs is Samsung. Like most of the thing I have is Samsung, which is just yeah, pretty damn cool. But yeah, anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. I mean, like I said, it's not really like a video, like a proper informative video because obviously I don't have these products and I don't know anything about them at the moment. I don't really want to know anything about them at the moment till I actually get these devices because, like I said, Samsung. They need to impress me because 
they just need to but yeah, anyway guys if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for more videos and obviously when on the 20 on the 27th of october when these phones are available to buy two of them will be coming to the channel we're going to be unboxing them we're going to be reviewing them and you already know we're going to be giving some away as well to you guys because you guys have been a very big part of the channel and a big part of the family and i absolutely appreciate everything that you guys do for me and the channel as well anyway guys before i go started a youtube um, tiktok i know i'm a youtuber and i have a tiktok account and i post on tiktok but it is what it is <laughs> It is what it is. But yeah, anyway, links all down below to my social media, TikTok, all that. TikTok is popping off me right now, bro. Popping off more than more than YouTube, but that's because I haven't uploaded for like the past three months. But yeah, anyway, TikTok is mad. Go check it out. Go check it out. I want every single one that's subscribed to this channel watching this video today to go subscribe. I mean, go follow me on TikTok because TikTok is popping. And also, guys, I want to start bringing car content to the channel as well. So. Comment down below, tell me if you want to see car content because I have a beautiful S3 just parked out and I've obviously, I've made videos of it as well. I've even showed you guys on there on, on a video as well. But if you want to see car content, please let me know and I'll bring some car content. Otherwise, I'm just going to do it and see if you guys like it. And if you do, then I keep on doing it. But yeah, anyway guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.